Hey guys, this is SF and it's time for Monster of the Week. Uh, this week I'm going to do two monsters uh, in different videos because I didn't do one last week and I felt a little bit bad. So I'm going to do uh, Gabri uh, Gabriel for this one, for this uh, for the first one, and then the second one will be uh, probably Izanami Zero. And basically, let's look at her stats. She is a sprite. She completes the Five Angel series. So Mika, Ralph. Uh, what's her name? Udi, Lucy, and I think uh, Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel's probably gonna get her name changed in the NA version, probably to like Gab or something or something like that, or Gabby or something. Um, but uh, Sprite, and then Bounce Gauge uh, Plus, and then her abilities is a no damage wall with a gauge shot of Light and Dark Slayer, very very powerful. And then Strike Shot is a she becomes a piercing type, and then an all no Strike Shot, so uh, basically becomes like Kushilin. Uh, that I have in my uh, on my team and then bump combo is a chain lightning at 215,250 and then uh, the other berry is just a, a knockout but um relatively high stats as well uh okay hp and then like all the other good stuff and then of course the shield and uh, luck skill which uh which any damage she takes she would take uh, during the enemy's turn uh, she will receive one damage instead of the, uh, pers like the actual damage. But in terms of chain lightning, I didn't really explain chain lightning. Well, I guess if you guys watched my Daigo Ten video from like way back, uh, chain lightning, it's it has uh, over two hundred thousand power, right? Uh, that's only on the first target. Well, I guess like first target in range. It's relatively small, so I bet it will probably reach to like the mech bird around here and then what it does is shoots lightning towards the closest enemy in range and then shoots and then it chains it chains to the next enemy that's in range and then as it keeps on going as it keeps on moving around the map the lightning it will decrease the power for uh, not per enemy hit but per distance so let's do it so it reaches all the way to like the top left if you guys uh, can follow that and it will only hit one monster once so and then it only hit one monster once so if you guys so you can't hit two monsters twice and it cannot hit like monsters with multiple hitboxes twice or like three times and then it only hit the one that's closest in range uh, that are within range that haven't been hit once so maybe if it reaches all the way to the top left and all the other ones are already like and then it didn't hit this guy because uh, the lightning cannot chain back all the way back and then go towards the top right so that's one thing you have to worry about and then as you can see the range is not that high not that wide so as you can see the mech bird didn't get hit and somehow my light noel got hit by the thing which is not good but it's all right because Gabrielle has a dark slayer so she slays a lot of those uh, basically slays this dungeon to the full and use a chain lightning powerful as you can see the top left has 215 I guess it's the first target and then it decreases within like distance or I'm pretty sure it's distance not per monster hit okay and wasn't in range of the tree which is kind of sad So what I really think about Gabrielle is that uh, she's like the next Lucifer or the next Lucy, uh, quote unquote, just because she is a exclusive and then she here on the New Year Day, on New Year's Day, just like Lucy was back in 2015, New Year's Day. And of course she is very, very powerful. 
and double slayers with a no gra uh, with a no mobility and ooh, ooh, nice and no and uh, no damage wall and then a uh, very powerful bomb combo and her strike shot is relatively powerful as well the only really bad part is the range of her chain lightning unlike lucy where you can basically hit anybody from anywhere but uh gabriel's chain lightning is a lot powerful than the energy circle in my opinion As long as you get within range of your of the monsters, then it's really really powerful. I did some experimenting during like normal state, um, normal phases on normal dungeons like in Jester, and I think if the lightning passes through weak spots, even though. It hits the center of the of whatever mob or, or enemy it hits. Uh, it will go through that hit. It will go through that hit's uh, weak spot and then deals uh, triple the damage. Because one time it did like 600k for no reason, and it was just with their bump combo. So I was like, WTF. So I think it if it passes through while it's in was in on route to the center of the boss then or like mobs with weak spots then it will deal uh, triple, the, triple the damage so you kind of get have to get lucky a little bit like this one it didn't really hit it I am going to strike shot and hopefully hit Gabriel nope totally failed Well, I guess our OPness doesn't need to be down. As you can see, like 1 million on like WTF, man. Okay, getting a little bit iffy. And thanks to the knockout, Slash doesn't do anything. Awesome, awesome. Wise, I'm not that great. And also, Gabrielle's uh, um, ascension is not that bad either. She has an energy circle with a with a poison meter. The poison meter does like about 70k, 700k, and then the poison itself does like uh, 35, 100k per turn for like three turns. So it's really really powerful but uh, just the sad part about the really bad part about the ascension is that she has super low HP although it is a minesweeper and no warp with a water resistance uh, she has about like 16 17k HP I think okay I'm just gonna strike shot randomly this is with uh, Shinji's um, Shinji's which called uh, power boost and this is Gabrielle she becomes a pierce type basically like Krishna's strike shot and knows all uh, gimmicks and all that stuff and I think I went a little bit too uh, not the best anyways but either way uh, Krishnan the OG the OG strike shot So really good for carnage, uh, for time trial of dark because even if you get ability lock, you can even though you can get ability lock, you can uh, just avoid it with the strike shot and all that stuff. So very very good. Uh, unlike kind of like Lucifer, where her opiness ish that box stuff is in her ability of barrier, uh, Gabrielle does it, has it within her strike shot, and then without having the extra ability of Without the barrier being her ability, she gets two slayers, which is really really awesome. Although the although the command structure is not that bad in terms of Lucifer, in terms of Lucy, but uh, Gabrielle really really strong. Uh, people are rerolling her for hell for a lot, and then people have been rerolling, rerolling buying orbs and all that stuff, just like what Lucy did. 
uh, last year. But uh, Gabriel, very, very strong. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions about Gabriel, then leave it in the comments. And of course, uh, leave any comments for our future uh, Monster of the Week. But uh, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.